And I'm telling the DA, I'm like, y'all got to be some sorry motherfuckers to sit up here and know if I got a song saying I got money, I got weed and crack, every motherfucker going to say they bought dope for me. And I got money, I got clothes, I got bitches, I got hoes, I got brand new phones. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But how was your music, like, when you end up getting locked up, How where was your music at the, at that time? Like, how, how was it? Was it, were you on, you had some popping in the streets when you end up having to go well, sit yeah, down? That's when I had just, uh, that, that Oak Cliff, well, you know, I, had, I did, the, I got money first from. I got money, I got money, I got clothes, I got bitches, I got hoes, I got brand new. 2003, you know, <laughs> it still rocked the day, and then after that, uh, which the project came out 2003, but um, you know that joke would last me about two years flat on the radio, hot. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then we came back with the Oak Cliff, that's my hood. In the same instance of the two years from 2005, roll on over to you know what I'm saying 2006 or whatever. Cliff, nigga, that's my hood. Yeah, yeah, that's my hood. Yeah. Put it in his face. Yeah. But um. At the same time, I was about to think a deal with Universal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's good. I, I mean, I was already, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the feds grabbed me. they like, what you was going to do with that money from the, you know what I'm saying, from the deal? It's just they try to, you know what I'm saying? The feds, their job is to make you, a, make you a monster, man, even though you may not even be that monster, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they'll make it to where you are, uh, where, where they try to figure out if you done, you know, you know, how much power you got to get people killed or knocked off or they hear stories about you, then that's what they believe. See, on the cool to feed some sorry motherfuckers, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I don't think they do is sit back and wait for a motherfucker to tell them something instead of getting off their ass doing investigating, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then once they do luck up and grab a motherfucker, you in the feds, niggas will come out of anywhere to testify on you to go home, so what you think you go do? That's real. See, all these niggas be talking about they tough. Nah, I ain't copping that, nigga, you copping that, nigga? Cause yeah. you ain't finna sit up in that bitch and get 30 when you don't gotta get 30. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So you sit up in that bitch and get 30 cause you tough. Nah, I mean, I don't get whatever you go get and get on out the way. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you go get up and up with a way out. By the time you get, by the time you get all your, your shit reversed, you done 25 years on the 30. That's real. That's come real. Come on, man. So I mean, I wasn't no fool. I, mean, I had a whole, I had a whole witness sheet of motherfucker who come testify on me. And I'm telling the DA, I'm like, y'all gotta be some sorry motherfuckers to sit up here and know if I got a song saying I got money, I got weed and crack. Every motherfucker gonna say they bought dope for me. And I got money. I got clothes. I got bitches. I got hoes. I got brand new. I done, I done, I done did, I done did over 500 shows. I done been on a million posters. I done shit been on the radio all over the place. Don't you think anybody gonna say they know me? When they only know of me. Man. They only heard of me. Well, tell me, I, I, I'm gonna ask you this. Like, Greg Street, like, during that time he was in the city, like... How you? How did you and him meet, and and how was he when your music was moving? Man, Greg Street, the real one though, on the cool like Greg Street, the real. One. When I took that, I got money to him. Uh, well, we first of all we went to K one hundred four to do an interview on this uh, on uh, our time to shine, and everybody was at the video. We was having a blast, and um, I mean I was sitting back like I always do, just letting everybody have their fun. And uh, Greg Street was like. Man, let me, you know, he's like, man, let me, uh, he said, man, let me tell you something. I was like, what? He said, first thing I want to tell you is, uh, it's this rapper dude coming out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, named Young Jeezy. Uh, man, give me 3500 get a verse from him. And I was like, man, fuck Jeezy. I don't know who that nigga is. Like, nigga, I'm trying to get him some money. I ain't trying to give my money away. Damn, so you didn't, you didn't, and you can't blame him because he didn't have nothing at that time. He might have nah, had that. But, but you don't know if, but, but by, by, Greg Street being a DJ, he can he, hear something. He can hear something, but not only that though, Greg Street probably breaking the nigga records too. Who knows? That's feel what I'm saying because you in Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? But I wasn't looking at it from that perspective. I'm looking at it like I don't need this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But later on, that motherfucker could that verse or two could have gave me longevity to put out another hit song or one or two. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, real talk. I got money. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So or they could have been on that same album. You know what I'm saying? And so. uh and so the second thing he told me, he said, bro, you wasting a lot of money on all these artists to make the world know who they is. Like, bro, people, you gonna spend more money trying to make them known than anything. He was like, I'm giving you an example. He said, everybody know you. The streets know you, dope boys, the girls, the community, everybody, you in the schools, everybody know you, bro. It's easy for you to drop an album, so why you won't drop an album? 
And I was like, shit, nigga, I ain't just, I, I didn't feel like I was just the best rapper on the label. You know what I'm saying? But now I realize you don't have to be the best rapper. You got to be more to be, be the most likable nigga on your label. That's real. See, you know what I'm That's saying? That's real. Fuck the best rapper. You got to be the most likable nigga. And you the most likable nigga, you go get away with something. You know what I'm saying? So I took I took heed of what he was saying, and I instantly started working on my solo project. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't actually put nobody else project on Freeze. You know what I'm saying? I just went directly working on mine. You know what I'm saying? What were the clubs during that time, was it was it? Was that that's Bay Bay time, like the strip clubs, the spot? What, nah, what club? Yeah, we, we had Club Diamonds. Diamonds. Uh, GG. GG. Uh, GG for Avenue. sure. Park Avenue. Jamie's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had all of uh, them. RJ by the Lake, that was a little bit nah, before that. Way, way that before, way before, that. before we that. Club Blue. Club Blue. Yeah, we had everything. Yeah, I, I think that's that's just sets the timing of yeah. where you know where everything was at during yeah, the time. we had everything. That's hard, man. Like, and so. And we, street, but that's, I'm going to tell you what Street did, though. Street motherfucker, he don't give a damn what the radio people say at some point. That motherfucker play I Got Money for the Top 88. He played that bitch eight times. Damn, <laughs> but that's love. See, do you, do, that, do you think they get love like that now around the city yeah. like that? No, nah, I'm not saying they get love like that because it's easier now. Okay. It's easier now. You don't even need the radio now. Yeah, but a lot of people still utilize it. Because you know why, though? Why? Because it's still an avenue that you need. Meaning, people gonna be like, Oh, I heard that on the radio. The radio will make you like a motherfucking song that don't even sound good. <laughs> I know I didn't so need it much. before, man. For, do you find yourself singing the fucking song? Yes, sir. So, so the radio play a play a play a play a it play a it play a role. Too, Real significant it? role. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really does. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying the outlets now. We got so much social media. This is me, how I look at it. So I'm working on a project. Use the old tactic and the new tactic. And just go ahead on and put an album out. I'm, I'm going to win regardless. Yeah. Because I'm not going to get away from nowadays. A lot of artists lazy because they don't get up and they don't got to move around no more because there's so much social media and technology. They don't got to move around. Now nah, I'm going to be still hitting the road, still hitting the streets, still popping up, doing my shit the same way I've done before. So I can't lose. Well, like, let me ask you, like, when you got, when you came home, how was it transitioning back into society and just trying to get things back rolling just for a guy that might be getting out, coming uh, home? I mean, actually... I worked on myself while I was locked up. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that, um, I mean, I'm not a perfect person, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm more considerate now of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How they may see a situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to hold myself Pull accountable. Just a little bit. I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to hold myself accountable for the things that I do. Yes, sir. Or the things I don't do. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost. But also, I'm, I used to take the blame for everything that go wrong between me and somebody. Mm -hmm. But I had to realize that that somebody did something wrong, too. You know what I'm saying? But do they do they hold themselves accountable or accept that they being wrong in the instance that why I had to accept it? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. know that I did wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I became with the, you know, like the growth of everything because I had to look at it like, man, this shit just don't work your way. You can't just see it your way. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that my way may not be the best way. Listen to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you can be sitting here talking. And I could be like, man, my head, I'd be like, man, if he don't shut the fuck up and just go and let me go. But it came to a point, like when I got out, I actually had to be like, okay, man, listen to what he got to say. You know what I'm saying? He might be on to something, Lig, you don't know everything. So that was the point that I became, it was one of the things that I worked on, you know what I'm saying? Because that's something that people need to do because a lot of people, they be, uh, what they call it, uh, they have tonal vision, you know what I'm saying? Because they only see stuff for how they see it and how they want it to be, but it's not always like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.